Okay, so let's open up the uh, attendance template. I'll open up the Excel version with no uniform column, okay? Here we go. So, this is what should open up when you uh, open it up in Excel. We see down here at the bottom of the screen, there are different tabs, okay? Each tab is a separate spreadsheet for the different months, okay? So again, on the leftmost tab is the kind of notes and instructions, a uh, little page I've made up. The next tab is uh, a sample month that I thought maybe you could just play around with inputting different values and seeing what happens with the spreadsheet, okay? And um, then down here at the bottom again, if I click on this tab that says September, I'm going to get the month of September. Okay. Notice next to it is October. Running out of space here, if I want to see November, December, etc., I can click on this arrow and you see that tab bar has moved over. And now I can see October, I can see November, I can see December, etc., etc. Clicking down here, I see January, February, March. Okay. The arrow with the line after it is going to get you to the last page. So that's fast forward me all the way to the end where I've got June, I've got the totals spreadsheet here, which will automatically populate with values uh, depending on the previous months. And I've got the uh, chart. Um, to look up one student's attendance if you want to. So let's go all the way back to September. Um, all students are listed, as I said, as just uh, numerical. So once I put names in these cells, um, the following months are going to automatically show those changes too. Okay. <clears throat> I just did a few there. Okay, so again down at the bottom there's September I can click October and I see uh, that Jill's name is there and Frank's name is there um, and then all you need to do really of course you're gonna start with September is uh, as the kids come to school or not then you're going to be putting in um, their attendance on a daily basis and it's going to automatically keep track of who's here and who's not and who's late and who's done their homework etc okay so I've just added some in September there let's add a few in October just for fun there we go and November do 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 okay let's skip all the way to the back at the bottom and we can see the totals have now changed okay a darker color means they've been away more often okay it's going to change depending on that number and if I want to look up a particular student let's say I want to graph Frank see Frank's attendance graph there already graphed is a class average that's that blue line and uh, there's nothing shown in these cells because uh, there is no student one now referenced in those earlier sheets so if I type Frank's name it's going to automatically look up Frank and look up his data and uh, graph it automatically okay so that's that, and uh, I hope you uh, hope you can make it work.